So picture this, you've been in lockdown for five weeks. In those five weeks, you have thoroughly enjoyed being one, a bit of a hermit, two, taking up drinking as a sport because what else is there to do? Three, baking and eating your baking. And you jump onto a call with your colleagues just to catch up on what's happening. And your manager says, you're gonna be involved in filming and it's happening in two weeks. Welcome to my video diary on Les Mills United RPM filming. announcement about filming was made um, and I didn't record any content about it because I was so shocked and I just kind of kept myself to myself because my brain was so busy. I was really excited but, but mainly shocked. I've been on the team for what since 2014. If I'm honest I put the idea of filming completely aside, never ever kept it at the front of my mind. I thought that my strengths lay in different areas and that it just wasn't something for me. Filming is amazing, but it's like a unicorn, right? You never quite understand why or what for or anything like that. So from watching that over the years, I was like, definitely not put it on my goal list. It's not to say people don't want to do it, but I think it could end up chewing you up and spitting you out if your primary goal within working with Les Mills was to be on filming. Because of that, I was just so shocked um, because the filming unicorn had said my name. <laughs> and I was like, oh, uh, it wasn't all smiles and happy and hugs with everyone. It was just like, and that was it. I didn't open my mouth and mention a thing until the, the day before I filmed to a couple of other friends and the day that I filmed um, to social media because I don't know what it was, but I just, I, I was like, I can't talk about it because if I don't talk about it, then I can maintain this belief of, I think it happened, but it might not have happened. So I'd better not say anything in case it hasn't happened. Does that make sense? So yeah, that was my initial response to filming. <laughs> been three weeks since we got news about being involved in the Les Mills United filming and the masterclass has finally landed. Yes, 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 yes. So today I am pulling out the music from the masterclass because I really learn through music. Um, and I'm going to take myself on a walk uh, in a few minutes and just get my head into it, get listening to it, start to write down how I'm feeling about it and then I'll go from there and I'll cycle this afternoon. Uh, it's been a few hours, so I went for a good walk this afternoon and I listened to the music a few times through just to get a feel for each of the tracks. Spent a little bit of time just writing down my initial thoughts about music because it's one of my fundamental steps in getting into any new release. Obviously we are shadowing for this one, but it was important to me to kind of have a think about the music before I got on and saw how the music went with the movement. So I did that at the end of this afternoon. Um, I'll let you see how that went. Being at home brings its own unique challenges for filming. Paul, but Paul was entertaining. <laughs> I've just come in, had a big meal with my family, and put on some fake tab, can you tell? Nay makeup, orange in color. I'll get on and ride the thing through tomorrow. I'm gonna check out a couple of places around here where I might be able to film, have a look at what the light is like, make sure that I'm not gonna spend time filming myself and then find that I'm, I'm spending the entire 45 minutes making faces like this because I can't see because it's too bright. 
So yeah, that's next steps. So I am just going for my second run through physically of the release. I don't know if I'm going to do any more run throughs because I am admittedly someone who overthinks things mad style, like I proper overthink. Uh, so I've spent some time with the music. I'm going to run through the workout again just to make sure I'm happy with it. And then I'll see how I feel this afternoon. If there's a break in the weather, I might go ahead and film. So, done my hair. By that I mean washed it. And we're all set up. Here's the director. This is Paul Elbark. He's well known for his uh, unique directorial style. Doesn't like to give much away. No. Uh, this is the uh, high tech setup. There's the phone. There's the uh, precariously balanced power supply. Down here is what I'm going to be teaching from. Behind me, there's my lovely bike. There's a tree. Ooh, this light's quite harsh. And yeah, we're just gonna get going and see what happens and see whether it records okay. Side note, when we went into lockdown, I did not include wearing makeup in the kind of list of stuff that I brought home with me. So I don't have any waterproof mascara. So yeah, I've had to stick on some eyelashes because I don't have anything else that won't run down my face. So, the shot. Just finished. It's hard work, <laughs> really hard work. I am a sweaty human. However, the weather held for the most part. And now Paul the Professional is uh, just uh, putting his tools away. It's a nice tripod you've got. Any comments? He's still a chat. I'm gonna have a watch back of this later. Hopefully I've done all right. Hopefully it's something that will be of use for the guys over in New Zealand. Fingers crossed. But yeah, that's it. Time for a shower. Well, back in, finished doing the filming in the garden. It was great fun. The workout itself is superb. Like you guys are gonna be in for such a treat. Paul was awesome. He had a special countdown for every track which I won't repeat, but it kept me smiling. My face actually hurts a little bit from smiling. Um, my cheeks are sore. But yeah, most of my makeup stayed where it was meant to be. I had absolute fear about having like massive streams of mascara down my face. Obviously my hair has curled itself because why would it do what it's meant to? Uh, I haven't looked at the footage yet, uh, but yeah, I really do hope that I've, um, done you guys proud and that my contribution to the project is something that, that everyone would be happy with whether it is used or not at the end of the day because there isn't any guarantee that I'll be on the end product. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get some food. I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous today um, and I think I've had a piece of toast and a yogurt all day and I am starving. <laughs> Might have a glass of wine as well, we'll see. Watching this back, getting all the files sorted out to head off um, or send off, you suddenly remember that you filmed outside in high definition with a relatively close up shot and there is nothing that you can do to hide the lines on your face and the bags under your eyes and all the other stuff that you suddenly start to see. Like, it's a nightmare watching it back. I think I'm just gonna have to stop and just send it. So, back out in the garden uh, because I managed to corrupt a couple of the video files. Um, luckily not of the masterclass but of the social media statements for those Mills to use. So 
off I go again. I'm so excited to be part of this Les Mills United filming. Hey, so I'm currently sitting at my computer uh, waiting for the files to upload to the production team at Les Mills in New Zealand. I had a couple of issues getting them uploaded yesterday, but shout out to Ross across in New Zealand, who was really, really helpful. Massive props to these guys, because I don't know how they're dealing with getting footage in from so many of us around the world. Just being so on the ball, so quick to respond. I had an email back, but equivalent of what must have been 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, their time. So they are really working hard. So final thoughts around this filming. It's been an amazing experience. I feel very fortuitous, very grateful to have been uh, invited to be involved. Obviously, I don't know whether my footage will be used or not, but it's still been a good project. And, and a lot of that actually comes down to the fact that it's been a great project for me. And it's made me revisit why I love my programme, how I show enjoyment for that. Um, although sometimes admittedly looking at the footage that seems to be through grimacing. I'm going to show you a couple of stills. <laughs> like facial fireworks, more like facial bombs. <laughs> but it's a really tough release, so I'm giving myself that. So yeah, let me kind of reflect. I had a little moment, really randomly, uh, about my cycle shoes, because I, I'm not lucky enough at the moment to have been able to get a hold of the Reebok Garn shoes. So I ended up filming with my Shimano shoes, which I covered up the labels on. With KT tape, that looks a bit like a pride flag, so <laughs> if, if I do make it onto the final cut, look out for my feet. <laughs> yeah, it made me feel quite kind of full circle because those are the shoes that I bought in 2009 when I was just a participant getting into Les Mills RPM, really starting to enjoy cycling and, and the music and the feels that that gave me. And that was a way back on RPM 40 something. They saw me through my initial module training on RPM 52. They saw me through my AIM 1, um, through boot camp, through my first quarterlies. I wore them for the first JFX I did, for my first Les Mills Live, like you name it. They've been with me all of the way. So yeah, I had a little moment with my shoes of all things. They've got holes in them, but they're amazing. I love them. The other thing that filming or this process has really made me think a lot about was um, limiting and impairing beliefs. I found that I was sitting on a lot of limiting beliefs that were coming to the surface. Things like my eyes. It's like just the shape of my face, right? But I have quite imprinted lines at the top of my cheeks um, and I feel like it makes me look like I have massive bags under my eyes all the time and multiple bags. And then from my eyes, the limiting belief would turn into, oh, well, your face is the wrong shape uh, and you're definitely too old. Uh, your smile's a bit wonky, your nose is <laughs> like... So there were all sorts of really random limiting beliefs starting to come to the, the forefront. And then, you know, if you let that kind of thinking run, it ends up turning into, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be used, I don't know why I've been put forward, nobody likes me anyway, you know, blah 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 blah. How I'm worried about my eyes turns into everybody hates me, I don't know, but that's how people's brains work, right? So I think one of the things I wanted to acknowledge was that we do all go through that process, um, and continually. Uh, every time something new comes up, every time something different comes up, you know, if you've got a brain that works like that, it'll kick back into action and start causing trouble. Annoying. I um, was very lucky to have the support network that I do. And, you know, a, a massive thank you to everybody that I spoke to individually uh, and just to the wider team anyway for being lovely, but especially to the people that I, I sat and had longer conversations with or who just sent through really useful uh, things to think about, you know, ways to kind of get on top of your thinking or, or ways to feel more confident in what you're doing. So yeah, that was it. Um, I've got to admit the day after I filmed, I was exhausted um, and I couldn't bring myself to submit the filming because I wasn't sure if that was it or whether I could do it better. But again, um, a wise owl told me that, you know, if this was a live filming, 
you don't get to go back and do it again just because you're not sure if you like it or not. So I looked at it and I was like, well, is that me? Is that authentically me on the bike? Is that me showing my enjoyment? Am I smiling in the way that I would smile? Am I, am I really getting into the workout? And I was looking at it and going, well, yeah, that's how I would ride that release. So I've gone with it. So yeah, that's it. End of filming. It's been really, really fun and really interesting. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you found it in some way useful or reassuring or helpful, whatever it might be. And that was it. RPM United Filming. Done.